right once you have gotten all this information from step one and step two you're able to tabulate them together to determine what kind of value in terms of your property is going to be so the big question is this how busy professionals and homeowners like us make six figure profits from the property we own safely by doing it with research data and numbers how do we buy in a way without complications and half guessing regardless of the market conditions and still remain profitable that is the question here i will share with you exactly what we do and how we do it my name is Simon Tan and welcome to Singapore Real Estate Insider. The three steps of how you are also able to actually like our clients step on this key three steps factor to help you review a property in a very easy and simplified way at the comfort of your own home. So the first step is of course you have to know your own property details. Alright, so first is uh, when do you purchase this property? Second is, uh, of course, you must know what is your property, like, what is your size of the property, but perhaps you could have forgotten the size of the property. So this, you can actually check back what you have purchased, or online, you can actually search for it and you are able to find out the information quite clearly. All right, and of course, the third one is to check your CPF accumulated uh, amount, all right? So the CPF part will be, first is how much you have utilized in the beginning of the purchase, and the second is how much interest it has accumulated in terms of the accrued interest. So the fourth one is to of course find out whether how much outstanding loan you have gotten in terms of your HDB, whether it's a HDB loan or a bank loan. Moving forward to the step two of this uh, sequence that you are able to review your own current property is the uh, to look at past transactions. So there are a few ways that you are able to find out the past transactions in terms of your property when you want to look at transactions, you could actually take the average of the five of the same size, of the same type, similar floor level range to do a comparison. That will help you to determine what could be an average pricing that the current market can accept to help you progress in your plan. So besides URA and your HDB websites, because they are too ge ge generic, you know, in terms of their data collection. Uh, for ourselves, as a, as a consultant to our clients, we actually do uh, have different platforms of data analysis platforms that we actually pay thousands of dollars every single year to subscribe to so that we are able to gather the latest data to our clients to do an assessment. It is not the actual price but it is a reference that you can command as accurately as possible. Remember, past transactions is only one of the reference points. There are still many considerations. Example, renovation could be one of them. You know, um, when you purchase a property, it's also another point. And how is the actual market condition going moving forward? It's also one of the key considerations. And the third step is, of course, to tabulate some of all these financial sums. Right, once you have gotten all this information from step one and step two, you're able to tabulate them together to determine what kind of value in terms of your property is going to be. To help you as a homeowner to be able to systematically, predictably understand and get gather the best out of your property. So once you tabulate this entire financial sums, you know, it gives you a very clear indication of what could be the amount of money you are able to actually get back uh, we call it the cash proceeds because at the end of the day even if you're staying in property for three years eight years or even 20 years ultimately it's the end outcome that you wanted to get out from it so i've uh, actually done a tabulation in terms of a simple chart that you can actually make use of yeah so this sales plan actually gives you a step-by-step uh, -step process to help you to accumulate what you need to know from step one and step two and once you went through your step three in terms of financial plan, you can actually use this as a guideline to, first of all, you can estimate your sales price. Your sales price could be determined from step two. And of course, your outstanding loan, whether it's HDB or bank, this will be from step one. And of course, your CPF plus uh, refund, which, which means is uh, your accrued interest that has been accumulated. All this will actually go back into your CPF. And of course, at the same time, there will be still some admin costs involved, whether it's the legal fees, stamp duties, and of course, transaction fees that's going to be involved. I've laid this in terms of a very simple uh, chart that you can uh, use this to factor in all this information. Take this time to really dig out some of all this old information that you have not 
been reviewing it and put it onto this template that I've done for you. And this will help you to determine what is the net cash proceed.